Hi folks, welcome back to Stacey Can Can. Today I am making horseradish sauce. Just in time for the holidays. We like horseradish on our, you know, holiday hams and prime ribs and just on a great sandwich next day. I don't actually use it for turkey, but hey man, if you want it for turkey, you do you, it's up to you. Um, we are not water bath canning it. I only have the water bath canner out because I'm sterilizing the jars that I'm going to be putting these in. So keep that in mind. To sterilize your jars, you need to put them in the canner for, uh, or in boiling water for five minutes. Just keep that in mind for yourself. Um, the, uh, ingredients that you will need, you're going to need about eight to 10 inch long piece of horseradish root, which is about this. Um, I got it at the grocery store. I got a little extra just in case because you want to you want to find the firmest um, horseradish root tuber that you can find. So just kind of that's what you do. How you look for them is you kind of squeeze them. Uh, if you grow your own, uh, you do have to cut uh, to shovel them out. You cannot yank them out. They don't yank out like a carrot. So keep that in mind as you're pulling it. Um, and so that's what you need as far as horseradish root pieces go. You're going to need two ta uh, tablespoons of water, a tablespoon of white vinegar, and a pinch of salt. And a pinch of salt, you can just use, you can use whatever kind of salt you want for that, you know, table salt, kosher salt. If you want to use pickling salt, use pickling salt. Really, it's, it's completely up to you. The other uh, tools that you will need. You're going to need a knife um, and a vegetable peeler because we definitely have to ve peel these. Um, you're going to need a food processor of some sort. Um, you can use a blender too if you want, or if you have a food grinder, you can do that too, which is what the National Center for Home Food Preservation talks about. But keep in mind this step. I have a mask out here too. It's actually, um, you want to do this in a very well ventilated area. I'm going to do it over by my uh, kitchen window because the um, I've got two <laughs> the windows open. So I'm going to open the windows. This gets very pungent. You, you really need to be very careful when you're working with horseradish. It can actually be toxic. So I'm actually probably gonna put a mask on just so I don't, you know, kind of gas myself out. So do be careful and, and be smart about that. And so with all that, let's go ahead and get started. We're now gonna peel the horseradish. You're just gonna do it like you would a carrot or a potato. You do it this way if you want. This is very potent already. <laughs> you can really feel it in your nose. Now we're just going to cut the the horseradish pieces up. Just cut them into into. We're just cutting them into pieces so they fit in the food processor a little bit better. The other thing is, you, you'll notice we've got some some divots in here. So I'm just gonna cut those out. They weren't peeling out, so I'm just gonna cut it out. Got all the horseradish uh, cut chunks cut up and into the food processor. I'm adding just two tablespoons of water. I'm putting the lid on. And we're gonna process till it's well ground. more horseradish in there than what they call for. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of water because it is not liquefying like I want. I'm now going to add in, and be careful with this part, add in the vinegar. The vinegar actually stabilizes the hotness of the horseradish. So it's something, if you don't want it too hot, you definitely want to add it right away. If you want it hotter, you can you can put it off, but just keep that in mind. You want to add the uh, vinegar sooner rather than later. Now we're going to work very fast to get it out because it is potent. My eyes have been watering, nose is running, <laughs> so you got to work quickly here. Once you have them all in the your jars or container, your jars, just cover them up and put your lids on and you're good to go. And this is how you make horseradish sauce or horseradish or whatever you call it. We call it, just call it horseradish in our family. Some people call it pickled horseradish. I just, I just call it horseradish. Um, it's very potent. Oh, and thank you for joining me today with this. But uh, 
Um, it's very potent. The two recipes that I had kind of gone off of are listed below. So go ahead and check out those links. Uh, like and subscribe while you're down there. That does help. I am uh, suggesting we're just going to be putting this straight into the refrigerator. So remember that we are not, we're not water bath canning. Let's just put some lids on it, stick it in the refrigerator, and you've got a couple of months right here. This is actually quite a bit more than what I will probably ever use. So I will be giving this out to some folks too. So it's just kind of a nice little, nice little giveaway during the holidays too. That's always fun or a nice little thing to give to your family when you're, or show up with when you're going for a holiday meal. So keep, that's a nice thing to do. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, concerns, by all means, please reach out to me. I'm on Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can add me on Instagram and TikTok at Stacy Can Can. Uh, I am, my website is www.stacycancan.com and my email is info at stacycancan.com. Thanks so much again for joining me today and until next time, happy canning.